What is going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be taking a look at a device from 2014 which is having a extremely good time on the start of the 2018 yeah i'm talking about the galaxy grand prime which just received a rom port from j5 2016 and it's android 7.1.1 no good yep we can now actually try the latest firmware from the samsung which is also shipped with galaxy note 8 it's not the best idea to install it right now as of i guess january 9 or 10 you might have to wait two to three weeks to get it actually stable as getting this ROM booted even on like Marshmallow was extremely difficult task for the developers as there were many performance issues and then again the device system partition was so low they were not even able to install the G apps or the normal files for the whole ROM. But with the JFI 2016's no good update, it was kind of possible but still again hats off to all of the developers who have worked on this ROM. Now if you can remember a few days back I had a JFI 2015 which also had this ROM the Serenity version and this is the exact port of that ROM so all of the features that you've seen in that ROM all of the bugs that you've seen in that ROM are exactly same over here so starting with the user interface as you can see beautiful galaxy s8 ui over here it's uh, butter smooth again it takes a bit of a time as i told you there is some performance issues so yeah after booting it takes around one to two minutes to settle down but then again it just opens up so many possibilities for this small little device like literally you can install bixby on this rom many s8 features then again galaxy s power planning s bike mode just anything that you like I can't actually show you the camera as it's also the S8 camera app cause I don't know somehow my camera sensor is completely broken it just doesn't work but if you install this ROM on your grand prime the only bug over here is you can't actually use the stock camera for recording videos yep if you want to record videos you have to use any kind of another camera like footage there you go there is the new contacts then again you have your profile over here and developer is now also supporting more and more devices so it works on g530h which i have now it also works on 530 f and also 530 fz so more devices coming soon at least which are running on snapdragon 14 and also there is one bug that only one sim is right now working that's pretty sad but there you go there is the new settings you have all the features such as uh, if you go to sounds and vibration you have uh, volume keys for media then again if you go to sound quality and effects you have all new equalizer also with some of the galaxy set features such as upscaler you have wallpapers and themes where you can also configure your icons your advanced features where again more features have been added such as floating messages accessories app lock pretty handy stuff yep it works also you have subtle blur over there you can just exit it right away your smart alert multi window let's just try that hold down over here you can open up almost all of the apps such as phone the performance is pretty on par with this rom i mean it works yeah we can't expect much you have device maintenance if you go to the battery you have all of the s power planning features from the j prime series or the j2 ac which is also another copy of galaxy grand prime you have reserve battery for calls all other stuff that you wish extreme battery time and the most important the forward calls on no battery you have performance mode well if you set it on high performance it gives you a little bit of touch boost so i will recommend to put it on high performance all the time then you have device security memory again only 200 mb of memory is available as this is i guess 756 mbs of ram you have all of the normal stuff over here let's just go to about phone galaxy j5 2016 again the device name is 2015 cause of the rom and there you go android version 7.1.1 like literally i have even gave up hope that we could actually boot android marshmallow cause of the performance issues but then again we have android nougat now fully working you have your recent test panel you can always lock your apps over here and again there is no lag even like our stock lollipop lags screen capture you can record screen right over there then you have high performance upscaler pretty nice touch you can always expand any kind of tile such as torch and stuff as i told you my camera is broken that doesn't work you have your normal widgets you can always clean up your ram now let's just get to the installation of this rom as i told you it's not the greatest idea to install it right now but if you are just crazy enough to install android nougat on your grand prime here you go now first of all you will need to actually install a custom recovery on your grand prime if you want a video for that you can click this i button in that video i showed you what you can do with your galaxy grand prime in 2017 and in middle of that i will show you how to install your recovery once you do that just come back to this video let's just power off our device power off done and just now hold on your power home and volume up my buttons are completely broken so i have to literally push them inside the phone 
it will show you over here once you are booting into your recovery that's how the recovery looks you have to just go to wipe advanced wipe and no it will not actually wipe your internal storage it will just wipe your normal data such as your apps and just your normal data anything related with internal storage will be there so let's just select dalvik system cache data you don't have to select internal storage or the micro sd card just swipe to wipe home install and then you have to just select your rom just select the rom confirm to flash and just wait two to three seconds until the aroma installer begins there you go it's just funny that they were actually just poured this whole rom from the jfi 2015 to our device all the versions which are supported are over here hit next agree next next save format as we have already done it next and it will give you option for all of the features that you additionally want now i will not recommend installing any of this because literally there is no space for system over here so i will only recommend installing s power playing as you might need that and again samsung galaxy apps next mine is auto selected there you go xxu which is the fortuna 3g now i don't want root you always have the option for magics or the super su next next and your system is now being installed now this will take around two to three minutes and that took around one minute which was quite fast for a crappy device like this let's just hit next reboot device just uncheck that hit next swipe to unlock and now you have to actually install play store yeah now i will leave a link in the description for a special g apps which is just only 50 mb because we literally have no space in our partition so let's just select that confirm to flash i don't think that this method will be needed in future but you have to just read the change log on what's developer up with and you are done reboot your system do not install and congrats you have finally installed android 7.1.1 no gut on your grand prime now unlike another devices which just boot into like two to three minutes grand prime will actually take more than 15 to 20 minutes to boot up yep it's quite crazy but just don't freak out your device is not dead it will just take a whole lot of time cause it's a 2014 device so just have a cup of tea until your phone is up Okay, finally the device is up. Sorry for the brightness, I know it's pretty dark. You are not greeted with the normal setup over here as it just doesn't work or developer removed it. But there is Samsung account, let's just skip it. Why is the launcher older one? Never noticed that but there are no apps on the home screen which is just weird I guess. Yep, there are no apps on home screen. As I told you before, I flashed it before it was okay, now it's pretty weird. But there you go, you have Play Store and stuff now over here. And that's pretty much it. That's how you install Android Nougat on your Galaxy Grand Prime. Now I will highly suggest you to wait for almost a month or two to three weeks from when this video is uploaded because the developers are working hard to make this stable. As you can see, it's better than before. But then again, where are my apps? I don't know. Why is the launcher different? I don't know. Until these bugs get fixed, just wait for some time. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.